these videos before and uh, I'm still using it. It's one of, it's probably my favorite. It's definitely my favorite face cleanser I've used. I've tried other ones and they just don't compare. After I'm done using this, I can actually tell that my face is clean with previous ones I've tried. They just, it's just not the same. I can tell that it didn't like fully clean my face and I just love it. So, and it doesn't leave my face dry. Like I have dry skin. So I don't want that tight feeling on my face after I use a cleanser and this one is perfect for that. It doesn't cause any dryness or anything like that. And uh, yeah, I just wet my face before I started uh, putting it, like rubbing it into my face. Um, that obviously just makes it easier. And um, recently I actually started going, I used to like completely avoid my lips whenever I would put on my cleanser and I don't know why. Um, same with sunscreen, I would never go over my lips for whatever reason and I recently started to do that. I recently started to go over my lips with when, whenever I was washing my face and whenever I put sunscreen on and I've noticed a pretty noticeable difference in my lips just, I think they're softer and I think they, they are not as dry. So yeah, I just wanted to mention that. Uh, so I'm obviously not making the best faces here. I'm no model by any means, but I mean, I don't think anybody is when they're washing their face. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I just can't get over how ridiculous I look. Um, but yeah, I make sure to give down my neck as well. I wash my face for about 60 seconds. I'll count to 60 in my head and then I will wash it off. That's just how I do it. Some people could do it for two minutes, a minute and a half, but I just do it for a minute. I think that works fine for me. So here I am washing it off. First, I kind of get what's on my neck first so that doesn't drip down onto my shirt. And then I just wash it off as you do. Oh my gosh, that face. <laughs> This product right here was actually prescribed to me by my dermatologist, but if you are curious, this, <laughs> I don't look up how to pronounce these names because they're very long and I wanted to make sure I didn't sound like an idiot. So this is Ivermectin 1%, Metronidazole 1%, and um, I think it's Azelactic Acid 15% Gel. A lot of words there. Uh, I'm not 100% sure of what it does, but I just know that my dermatologist has prescribed me with it and it's been working pretty well. Um, I don't know if that's from this or I'm also on a, I'm also on spirolactone. I think it's how you say it. If I don't pronounce any of these words right, I apologize. Um, but yes, I don't know it's, if it's this gel or that, the spironolactone, or both, I'm not sure, but my skin has been looking pretty good lately, especially compared to what it was before. I was breaking out pretty bad when I first started the spironolactone, but now it's died down a bit here, so that's good. Uh, this is a toner. This is from, I'm from, the brand is from, I'm from, and it's their rice toner. I really like this a lot. I feel like it's really hydrating, and the consistency is very liquidy, as you can tell. Um, and I just find that this is just super hydrating. This is not 100% necessary, but I just enjoy it because I have really dry skin. And anything that gives me any extra moisture, any extra moisture, is a plus for me. So I also forgot to say I am recovering from a cold, you know, like a strep throat, I think. So I apologize if my voice is still a little congested, so I just wanted to mention that. I forgot to mention that in the beginning, so I'm just patting that into my skin. Patting that into my skin, and the next product I'm going to use is another one of my favorite products. It's the Cosrx Advanced Snail Radiance Dual Essence. So, as you can see, there's two sides to this. One is a serum, and the other side is like an essence sort of thing, I think. Um, so, one of the sides 
is like a niacinamide serum and the other side I'm reading the bottle here right now so let me get this right I'll just read it to you a special blend of snail essence and radiance essence in one bottle formulated with triple snail complex and niacinamide it will enhance skin plumpness and boost your skin's radiance and I 100% agree with that it really helps with hydration and just the plumpness of my skin like I can notice a noticeable difference whenever I don't wear this um, I just feel like my skin looks a lot less glowy and just hydrated and I love this I love putting it on my skin it's such a nice feeling so I absolutely love this product if you have dry skin um, I feel like you will really like it a lot the next product I'm going to talk about is another I'm from product from the same line it's the rice cream and i just recently introduced this to me i just got introduced this did i say that right i just got introduced to this product recently um i saw it at marshall's and i thought why not you know give it a shot i, I like the toner so i thought i would try the moisturizer and i actually really like it i thought from the texture you could tell it's a little thick but i was so i was not expecting as a daytime moisturizer but I actually really like it um, if you use just like the small amount that I did even when I I think I did use a little less than I usually do so I you'll see me here I'll grab a little more and put it on my neck but yes I really you don't really need a lot of this um, and I feel like it stretches a lot like you really don't need a lot um, to get you know your like your entire face moisturize so that's really nice um and i just feel like it just really moisturizes my skin without being too thick that is the one thing i do not like about if i do not like having a thick moisturizer on my face whenever i am you know, like it's a daytime um i'd rather have a thin moisturizer and this does that really well while also hydrating my skin very nicely um so this next product is an eye cream and I think I've also talked about this in my a previous video. This is the COSRX Advanced Snail Peptide Eye Cream and I really like this stuff as well. It's just a very nice creamy texture and it blends into my um, under eyes really well. Like it blends in very seamlessly like and very quickly which I really like. A lot of people think eye cream is not necessary. Some people don't use eye cream. I personally just like to use it. Um, obviously, you do not have to, but I just personally like the feeling of it. I just feel like it just helps with my, especially my concealer under my eyes. I just feel like it helps with the concealer blending um, under my eyes really well. And I just feel like it just, it just feels nice if I'm being honest. <laughs> So here I'm going to show you a couple of sunscreens that I like. So this first one is, I'm going to put this down for a second. Uh, this is the Can Make uh, Mermaid Skin Gel UV SPF 50. And then this one that I'm showing you now is the Isn't Tree Hyaluronic Acid Daily Sunscreen, Sun Gel, sorry. And then this next one, this is the Kula Classic Face Sunscreen, and this 
some sunscreens do that and I just thought it was my like that was just me my uh, my skin being sensitive but no it's just certain sunscreens will burn your eyes so though that is a no-go for me that's for sure and then another thing I look for is that it doesn't have a white cast I'm already pretty pale obviously but I feel like when a sunscreen has a white cast it it just makes me look sick so I absolutely cannot stand that that is a those are my two like like two gripes with uh, sunscreen. So if any sunscreen has either of those, I will immediately just stop using it, or I'll use it on my body just to use it up. But yeah, those three I really like, and then I also like the deuterium as well. I used a, many, a lot of those, but I do not currently have it. But yeah, I just showed the ones that I currently have in my you know collection or whatever. So, now you're seeing, I just got out of the shower, that was me making sure I was recording, uh, now I'm going to show you my nighttime routine. My nighttime routine is definitely a lot shorter than my daytime routine. Um, I think I'm just, I just don't feel like I need to do a lot in the nighttime. Um, just, I just want to get to bed, and that's how I feel at night. <laughs> so, I already did this off camera. Uh, this is the big peach and lily, uh, like ginger cleanser or whatever it's called. Um, and I'll put it in the description. I'll put every product in the description, and then I'm just using the same cleanser I used in the beginning for my daytime. I use the same cleanser um, just because I love it that much, and I just feel like it works really well. Like I said, <laughs> uh, this is the Trent Owen cream that I use. It's it's the 0 0.05, uh, there's also like 0.25 I believe, but I'm using the 0 0.05 at the moment, I think. I'm pretty sure that's what it said. Um, and uh, I, I've been using Trinoin for I think like two years now, I want to say maybe a year and a half, I'm not really 100% sure, but I've been liking it. I, you know, it's definitely something that kind of have to get used to because I know at first, I remember when I first started Tretinoid and I put on makeup afterwards, my skin was so dry and flaky. I was like, what is this? So <laughs> I had to obviously accommodate for that and just use extra hydrating products and everything. So this is like a newer product to me. This is the Paula's Choice uh, Hydrating Mask, I think. Um, and it's pretty thick. I don't really mind that for nighttime. Nighttime is when I don't mind a thicker moisturizer. Um, so I use that all over my face and neck. And um, yeah, the reason for that is because, you know, I use Tretinoin. and I'm going to make sure I'm using something like extra thick at night because I just put the Tretinoin on. And yeah, this works pretty well. I think I really like the Cosrx Advanced Snail Cream better. I just feel like it's hydrating, but I was just trying to find, uh, try something new, and it didn't work out. It's okay. It happens. Uh, this is the same eye cream that I use for my daytime routine. I really like it. I usually just end up using the same eye cream uh, for both routines. I don't really care. I think they, they're, they're going to do the same. Like, it's the same thing. I don't have a specific eye cream for each routine like I do with moisturizers, uh, and that's just because, again, like, I don't really like anything too thick at the, during the day, but at night, I can kind of go ham, um, <laughs> so I'm just blending that under my eyes, pat, 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 pat. um, I'm kind of going fast, uh, <laughs> this is the Cosrx Advanced Snail Mucin Power Sheet uh, the, this is very, you're gonna see it, it's very, uh, it's just drenched in the essence, like, once I pull it out, you'll see, uh, this is what I, I think I mentioned this in a previous video as well, yeah, it's like, drenched in this essence, which is nice, because some sheet mask will, like, they're like, there's like barely any essence on it, so I'd rather have there be a lot of, uh, essence on there instead of just like a minimal amount so I'm not I'm not complaining there uh you just gotta be careful with it make sure that you don't drop it on the sink I haven't done that yet thankfully um 
weeks. Uh, I always say I look like Hannibal Lecter. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that he, that's his name from Silence of the Lambs. Um, one of my favorite movies, but, um, yeah, anyway, but that's how I feel in these masks. So, um, yeah, I don't have anything really to say about these. They're very hydrating, like, um, and I just feel like my, in this mask in particular, is probably the best mask that I have found that actually sticks to my face. I'll, uh, again, I've only tried a couple of sheet masks, so I can't really say, you know, I'm not a sheet mask expert, as, um, I guess you'd call it, uh, but, yeah, I, this is the best one I've found that actually sticks to my face. Um, a lot of them, like, will lift up in some places, but this one, I feel like, actually sticks to my face, so that's pretty, that's awesome, and another reason why I like it so much. Um, so, also, this is just something I've learned from, like, I don't know, like, Korean skincare accounts and stuff that they use the extra essence, they don't want to waste it, so they'll use it for their chest and their neck, and I'll put it on my elbows, actually, like you saw before, uh, I don't know why, I just like to put it on my elbows, and then I also like to put it on my knees, for, for whatever reason, I don't really know, um, but yeah, those are the places I usually put it, if I have any extra essence there, you see me putting it on my knees, again, I don't really know why I put it on my knees, but I was just trying to find a, a extra spot to <laughs> rub the essence in, too, um, so yeah, I'll keep this on for about 20 minutes, and then here I am taking it off, it's very, very nice, like, as you can tell, my face looks very, very hydrated, um, it's also, like, one of the reasons, I think this is, like, the only sheet mask I'll probably ever use, I just don't think that anything will beat it, um, and then I'll just, like, also blend some, like, the essence from the mask, what's left over from the mask onto my neck again, just so I'm not wasting anything else. Um, so yeah, I'm just patting that in. Pat, 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 Um, I like that a lot. I really like that pat, 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 pat sound. Uh, I don't know if it sounds good when I do it, but I really like it when other people do it. Um, and then the last this is the last thing I show. This is just the Laneige lip, uh, lip sleeping mask. You do not need this by any means. You can just use lip balm. Uh, I'm just extra. I have them, so I'm gonna use it. Uh, it's really good, but I, I don't think you absolutely need it. I don't, you know, you could just use Aquaphor or whatever you have. It really doesn't matter, but yeah, that is it for my night routine nighttime routine. Uh, a lot shorter than my daytime routine, that's for sure. So, I just brush out my hair, and, um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, I hope that you guys liked, well, I guess I got a minute left, I shouldn't be doing the outro yet. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just brush out my hair. Um, I'm not really sure what to say, but, um, yeah, just let me know of any videos you might want to see 